Hello, Collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. It's been a long week, right? We've made it to the weekend. Um, I am here to check the weekend energy, see what's going on out there um, with your energy or behind the scenes, whatever the divine wants to tell us, right? This reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you. Just take what does resonate and leave the rest. Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. I, I hope you know I truly mean that. All right, Divine, what do you have for my collective today for the weekend? Oh boy, somebody's going to be watching you um, and wanting this new beginning. Um, I feel like, you know, you're going to be feeling great this weekend. You could be out and about, maybe even, um, maybe even putting yourself out there on the dating scene, okay? You're going to be looking fabulous. You're going to be feeling great. You're going to be maybe stepping outside for a little bit. Um, just, I feel like a celebration or something here. You're feeling wonderful. You, um, for those of you who work in the public eye, whoever this is here is going to be watching you. I feel like a, a lot of eyes are going to be on you. Okay. And it's almost like they, they want to have a new beginning here. Um, yeah, they see you as a, being in the queen of pentacles throne. Um, you're holding it all down on your own here, man. You've got you've got a new beginning coming here. What is with this moon card? Clarify the moon. Yeah, somebody's secretly watching you. You've got like a secret admirer here, but they're looking at your money and how abundant you are. Clarify this hermit. Yeah, they're watching you. This could be somebody who's also working really hard on their uh, building their finances up because they see you as being extremely abundant. This is somebody who wants to have a new beginning with you, I feel. They see you as wish fulfillment. They know with you that they can build something solid. Um, you're going to be, you've been working on your finances and, and building your security and foundation. And I feel like this person is too. They could be studying you though, trying to figure out how you're making your money or just watching you. This person's watching you like a hawk. This comes out, this person is in a lot of regret. They want to get back together. I feel like they don't want to be in this energy anymore. Um, and they it's almost like they don't wanna they don't want to think about the past because it makes them feel that horrible. Um, yeah, I feel like now they want to come in and they want to they want to do something that's gonna be fair for you. Um, this person wants to reunite. They're watching you. They're watching you so close this weekend. I don't know what you're doing or putting out there, whatever it is you're posting. Um, they're looking at your pictures. They're trying to like trace your steps, I feel. Yeah, this person, they, they're getting ready to talk. They're getting ready to come out with it. Page of Cups. Wanting to apologize, but not really wanting, they don't really know how, what they're going to say, right? They're kind of planning their communication. This sort of came out on its side. Um, yeah, how are they going to tell you all of this? How are they going to come back into your good graces here? They definitely don't want to feel this regret and remorse anymore. They don't want to suffer this loss anymore. They want to come in and, and try to bring fairness to the situation and get you back. Um, yeah, they know they're going to apologize, but what exactly can they say? I feel like this you're going to hear from this person. They don't want to just watch you anymore. They don't want to suffer um, the, the loss of you anymore. All they can do, they're stalking you like crazy. I mean, this person is like over-obsessed about you. 
I feel like this person is, they could have other options around them or they treated you like an option, but now they're seeing your abundance. I feel like they just didn't want to look at this again. Yeah, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like this person wants to come towards you and get back together. You, you're an earth angel. You have these abilities and skills that you're showing to the world now. Um, they can see how far you've come in your life, too. I, you know, this took a lot of effort to get here. You're somebody who's learned your lessons. Yeah, look at stalking, stalking. I feel like this person is planning. Yeah, this is all planned out. You know, um, I honestly, this is like a theft card, wanting to come in and um, it can be, it can stand for lies, betrayal, in and out energy. I feel like this person is feeling like a complete fool because they had this energy with you in the past. They could have made some kind of impulsive decision, um, came in and out of your life. Maybe they just kind of turned their nose up at you, walked away, entertained other options. And now they're feeling like an idiot because they see where you're going in life. They see that you've built a solid foundation for yourself and that you're out of all of their options. You're the one. They didn't recognize it before, but they do now. And uh, I feel like you may have said something to this person. Um, very, say, You told them something insightful or they got some kind of warning like you're, you're, you're mistreating an earth angel or... Um, you know, you're, you're going to end up regretting this, something like that. Whatever you said to this person, whatever kind of warning they got, they just kind of ignored it. But they're seeing now, they're watching you. This is, this is thinking about you, holding a light towards you, watching you, thinking about this, studying you, thinking about how they're going to communicate, right? Watching you, stalking you. This You've got a stalker this weekend. They're seeing you as the empress that they want a new love. They want this new love with you. They want a new beginning. They see you as somebody who can, um, basically, they, they can have a, a wish-fulfilled kind of life here. This is the kind of life everybody dreams of having. All the comforts in, in the world here. That uh, You're already living a very comfortable life with the empress. You could be... Um, a, a business owner, entrepreneur, and you're extremely successful. Not only that, with all the effort that you've put into everything, you are literally every queen in the deck. You're every queen in the deck. Yeah, I feel like, you know, they'd have to find, they'd have to find seven to ten people just to equal one of you. And this person now they feel like an, they feel like a fool because they walked away and now they can't seem to let you go. This person, I feel like ever since they walked away, they haven't been able to let you go. This person's been obsessed with you, and the obsession is like kind of crazy right now. Um, I, I feel like they're they're just constantly watching you, constantly stalking you, watching you online. Yeah, I feel like um I feel like this person originally came into your life, um told you that they were going to choose you. They came in all fancy, highfalutin, right? Thinking they were all that in a bag of chips. This person could have been arrogant, um egotistical, you know, kind of like, "Here I am. I'm choosing you. You hit the jackpot." But really, uh, they hit the jackpot when they met you. They just didn't realize it at the time. This person ended up being a player. They, t they pr kind of promised you that um, they made you believe that they were going to choose you and you guys were going to build a solid life together. But it was an act. They, I feel like they knew that um, they, weren't there, they, weren't, they were only there for playtime, not for a long time. Okay, and they did this to an earth angel. I feel like with the star energy, you know, you don't have to be on stage to have star energy. 
Um, you're just you're showing your skills, your abilities. You're in the public eye, um, doing something. You're attracting the attention of a lot of people. You're absolutely gorgeous here. Um, you've got this very peaceful, sweet, giving, nurturing nature. You're very healing. You're an empath, spiritual teacher. And I feel like you're doing a job for the divine here. Earth angel energy, divine feminine energy. I mean, uh, yeah, they're not going to find another you. I'm telling you. And this person knows it ever since they did this to you. Um, I feel like they've, they haven't been able to let you go. They've been obsessing about you. They've been losing here. Um, they're, they could be down to, well, I see them possibly working on their pentacles here, trying to build them up. But I feel like this person hit a time of like, like enormous bad luck. Okay. They're feeling out in the cold from you, number one. Uh, because of all that they did, they're not, they're not able to grow anything because they don't have any green grass. They could have thought the grass was greener someplace else. Like this person was very um, into themselves. They were very um, egotistical. They were in their ego. They thought they were like the shiznit, right? But the grass is actually greener where you are. Look at how lush and green your grass is, right? Because you're feeding something here. You're building something here. Um, very spiritual. And now look at where they, they went. They went somewhere where uh, nothing's able to grow for them. They could need a lot of financial help here. Or they could um, be codependent on somebody else, maybe. They were losing money. They could have lost a job. They could be out in the cold. They could have lost a home. It's just that, you know, it's like ever since they walked away from you, they'd, they'd ha they've had nothing but bad luck. Yeah, ever, everything seems to be ending in their life here. They're extremely burdened because they walked away from someone very spiritual, a Queen of Cups energy. Um, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. You could be an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Your person could be an Aries, Scorpio, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Heavy on Virgo, heavy on Libra. Yeah, this person has had nothing but burdens. They've been totally burdened by um, only able to watch you, stalking you, wanting to come forward, wanting to build something solid with you. Um, they want to reunite. They want a new beginning. They're seeing that. I feel like they thought the grass was greener someplace else or they were looking for the most abundant one, right? They covered you up with the sheet. They didn't want to look at this again. They treated you like an option. Um, and they, they just set, you know, set you aside, set you on a shelf here. They didn't realize that you were going to become the empress. All right. And their, and their ten of cups. And ever since, like, ever since they walked away from you, they can't, they haven't been able to let you go. They just haven't been, they don't know how to let you go, especially now because wanting this love back, this blessing and love back, they're absolutely obsessed. Um, all right, what action is this person going to take? They see this maybe coming to an end and they're really burdened by this. But it's because of their own actions, you know. This was somebody who came in, promised you... Uh, a beautiful life and they ended up just playing you taking advantage of of your kindness of the love that you gave them and they left they ghosted you um you know you move forward you worked on yourself you put in a lot of effort into your healing your journey yeah you're extremely intuitive here and I feel like you know this person has a lot of burdens in life. I feel like, you know, because they're in this, 
in this Five of Pentacles energy right now where all they're doing really is losing. Nothing's growing for them. They've got a lot of burdens. And I feel like if you get in this boat with them now, before they get their life put back together, you're going to be you're going to be suffering some of those burdens. These swords should be behind you in this boat. I also kind of get the sense that this person really doesn't want to discuss the things that they've done to you in the past. I feel like um, they're kind of hoping that that they can just get, get you guys past it. But you know what? Um, this person hurt you for no reason at all. They misjudged you. Um, they they didn't give you it just it's almost feels like they didn't they didn't respect you they didn't know your value they didn't even give you the benefit of the doubt they didn't look ahead and see where you were going in life you know and uh, i feel like they kind of just want to get past everything not talk about it but these swords still kind of they're they're bothering you collective they need to they need to bring you the justice you deserve Okay, they need to make things fair. If they're going to come towards you, they're going to have to talk about the things from the past. If they're going to want to heal this with you and have this Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. I mean, this is everything that they want, but they have to do it right. Yeah, this they've caused too much heartache and betrayal they're going to have to um, explain themselves here. They can't just say, well, let's move on, let's restart, and let's just get past it. It doesn't work like that. You know, they've got to heal this with you. They're going to, I feel like this person, they're, they're getting ready to boss up. They're getting ready to come towards you and apologize. I've got the devil, though, underneath it all. So, um, yeah... I feel like they're obsessed. Uh, they could be in a toxic situation. But this person really wants to get their strength, right? They want to get their strength up. They see you. Here's the Empress and this Emperor. They see you building something solid together. This person's getting ready to come in and, and apologize, okay? It's the end of a cycle. They're getting ready to come in and apologize. This is something that could happen very suddenly. But yeah, they're about ready to reach out from what I can see. Yes, they want to communicate. I feel like they've, they're cutting out a toxic situation for something that's divine. I feel like this person had to go through something with the devil to learn their lessons. Make no bones about it. This person knows that they want you. And this weekend, I mean, they're going to they're gonna be obsessing over you. Yeah. Tower moment. They're in love with you. They're angry. And if you were to get with somebody new, this person, um, this person would have a really difficult time, okay, if they see you out with somebody new. I feel like this person is about to, um, they're about to come flying in, speaking their truth. I feel like, too, they may have to end something over here and tell somebody else that they're in love with you. Yeah, because they can't forget about you. They can't stop thinking about you. So this weekend, basically, their energy is going to be like this. Six of Cups. Unable to stop thinking about you, obsessing about you, stalking, stalking you like crazy, trying to figure out a plan to come back in and reunite. I don't feel like their little plan of just putting everything behind you in a restart is going to work for you after all of this time. But yeah, they're coming, they're coming forward. Somebody here wants to come forward. They're kind of still in the planning stage, though, I do have to say. Um, and they may be in the process of ending something with somebody else here. Clarify the tower. But they're extremely burdened because they do not want this over with you. 
and they don't they don't really know how to make this right yeah I feel like I feel like there's an ending to something here so that this person can come back in and talk and communicate yeah this person's choosing a path they're making a decision they're making a decision they're going after the one that that they want they're going after the one that they can't stop watching okay and that would be you you are totally getting stalked this weekend this person cannot get you off of their mind and I feel like um, they may have it out with somebody else it's going to cause a major shakeup but this person's bossing up they can't carry this burden anymore they don't want this over um, and they're about to reach out collective so yeah um, let's get some uh, love angels on it right what can you show me here for the collective divine I feel like yeah true love this is the romance of a lifetime soulmate yes this is your soulmate give me one more for the collective and this person knows it too I feel like um, it took them a long time to figure this out who you are wedding this is something that could leave yeah this situation involves marriage so um, this person I feel like they know who they want to build with this is a reunitement okay the with the ace of Pentacles and the four of wands I can see this person possibly even wanting to propose I feel like they definitely want to commit to you though they want their wish fulfillment they want their Empress they can't stop thinking about you they're they're stalking you they can't keep doing that they don't want to keep feeling this way and I feel like they're cutting somebody else out making a, a definite decision and they're gonna want to turn this around and come back to their Empress and uh, like I said they may even want to propose okay just so you know so be prepared okay I don't know who this is for but it's for someone anyway collective that's what I've got for this reading I do hope this helps I hope it resonates with you if you guys like this video please click that like button subscribe to my channel help me grow right um, and until next time everyone take care of you and peace out